Cześć kochani, it's Basia and welcome to my kitchen. I am very happy to share with you this incredible recipe that had been with my family for nearly two decades and it's really helping us to uh, live a healthy life and this vegetable broth because that's what we are talking about is uh, not only super delicious but it's very nutritious it helps our body to detoxify it uh, uh, nourish our body it helps us to re uh, regenerate it's just wonderful wonderful thing to have and i really can't imagine to go through especially through fall to even late spring without it the colder months are the ones that i really crave it and uh, i guess my body knows exactly what it needs and asks for it it is also wonderful from my observation for people who um, suffer from some kind of infections or their body is weakened by some sort of uh, disease so i'm going to start Preparation. Preparation is very simple. It really requires us just to chop the ingredients. However, uh, the key later is in a long cooking time. So here I have first our base, our vegetable base, and I have um, uh, white cabbage, savoy cabbage would be great too. If you don't have red one as well, except red one will change a little bit of the color, will dar darken the, uh, the broth. I have carrots, uh, potatoes. My choice usually is uh, russet, but if I don't have russet, exactly like this time this is just regular yellow yukon uh, potato and i have a um, little piece of celery root if you don't have celery root uh, cel um, celery root which is also called uh, celeriac regular the green celery will also do so what i'm going to do i will just roughly chop all our vegetables and i always encourage everyone to whenever possible to use all ingredients that are organically grown without the use of uh, any um, chemicals and in this case I feel like this is extremely important because this is healing broth something that has to help us to nourish uh, to detoxify so putting any extra toxins into our body would not only be counterproductive but also in my opinion har harmful so let's chop it I'm going to start with the cabbage just bigger pieces a little bigger than a bite size I say cabbage is from cruciferous family it's very rich in uh, in vitamins and also really it helps to prevent uh, cancer uh, all our veggies they really are very rich in vitamins and minerals and each of them like carrots for example rich in beta carotene so each of them are uh, really wonderful for us but when you combine them all together along with the array of spices it becomes uh, such a powerful health elixir this definitely is your medicine so since the vegetables are all um, grown without any chemicals um, I only wash them very nice under running water with brush to to remove any uh, soil but I did not peel any of them and potato And the other group is going to be our anti-inflammatory, anti-bacterial uh, anti, uh, group. So we have our onions, garlic, ginger, and horseradish. So I'm going to chop them exactly the same as I did with the uh, rest of the veggies. Uh, and as you can notice my onions, uh, nothing really here is peeled. The reason why I didn't peel any, any of it because the shells, the skins are very rich in nutrients and they also will intensify the flavor. Ginger, I usually just slice it. Thinly. I'm starting to cry from the onion and now horseradish they are wonderful in, in uh, uh, helping to cleanse our arteries and um, support health strongly anti-inflammatory okay so here is my pot this one is almost six liter uh, pot and I found it just perfect for my four people family I usually cook um, one pot every week 
can have one little glass every day, uh, maybe twice a day, you would really feel the difference. And now garlic, lots of garlic. I don't think I need to speak about garlic and its uh, um, health benefits. Everyone knows garlic, um, really one of the healthiest, healthiest foods we can use. So I'm just crushing this like that or cutting into, depending on the size of the cloth. This one is very big. I will just cut it maybe in two, three. The exact amounts, exact amounts of everything I will post for you in the description of this uh, video. And also, if you would like to learn a little more about all the medicinal properties of all the ingredients I'm using, uh, I'm inviting you to uh, visit my website. It's make, make life wholesome, uh, dot com. It's a very, very new website. There is not much there yet, but I will be adding more information on a regular basis. Okay, so I'm going just to take this here. And here is our goodness. It looks so amazing. If I have a little bigger pot, would be probably a little better, but it's going to be very, very uh, intense in flavor. So another, uh, another group, let's say, it's our mushrooms. And what I have here, I have shiitake mushroom. In Asia, in uh, Asian countries, it's a symbol of longevity. And shiitake mushrooms had been known for their medicinal um, values for thousands of years. And they are really one of the best immune system uh, boosters for us. So I have shiitake mushrooms, and I also have maintake, uh, all dry. If you can get both, wonderful. You might also add some um, wild mushrooms that you were able to forage uh, uh, during the summer. So if you don't have the maitake mushrooms, just add 10 more shiitake mushrooms. And now we are moving on to our spices. So spices, it's so much more than just flavor. All spices I have here, they've been used as a medicine in Ayurvedic and in a, a traditional Chinese uh, medicine for really thousands of years. So we're going to start with cumin. The next comes coriander. bay leaf, yellow gold, turmeric, thanks to the active ingredient curcumin has very very high uh, anti-inflammatory properties. It really helps to detoxify and uh, protect our liver. It's absolutely amazing. If you add some pepper, black pepper or cayenne, as I'm doing in this case, you really um, make this curcumin much more bioavailable for our body and you can use less for the same health effect. So here I have cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper also because it has very, very warming properties, it helps to dilute our blood vessels and really deliver all the medicines much better. And now my anti-viral, uh, antibacterial set. So we having here cloves, allspice, star anise, very strong antibacterial properties, anti-inflammatory, it sti stimulates our uh, immune, uh, I'm sorry, our digestive system, immune system too. And here I have star anise, uh, very rich in shikimic acid. And now we are going to, uh, with, uh, with uh, herbs that we can grow in our own gardens or at home. So we have thyme, also very antimicrobial. Rosemary, great for our memory, and oregano. You probably know oil of oregano, such a great, great aid uh, whenever we get any infection. And now I'm going to add just about half a teaspoon of Himalayan uh, salt. You can use um, any really unrefined salt, could be grey sea salt, something that is uh, unrefined, unbleached, and this is not only for flavor, but also for all the minerals that are 
present in this kind of salt. I'm giving only half a teaspoon because we will be adding also a little bit of soy sauce. If you don't have soy sauce and you can't get organic soy sauce, later on after you cook everything, uh, you just add your salt to your liking. And I can't forget about our kelp. So this kelp I was uh, uh, lucky to harvest uh, uh, with, with my family uh, the last summer in, in our ocean. Uh, but if you don't have this uh, opportunity, then you may be able to, you will be able, I'm sure you will be able to buy kelp online. Um, most often it is sold um, as kombu. Um, because it's very, very uh, popular in Japanese cuisine. Uh, you use it when you prepare ramen. So I will have probably about six, seven, eight pieces like that. This is really um, the core of my broth. I really try always to have each and every one of those ingredients because of the medicine that they provide to us. Kelp, for example, is really, really super food. It's so rich in minerals. It's a great detoxifier for our body. As you can see, everything here, it's meant to nourish, to detoxify, regenerate. That's why we call it healing broth. And now, if you have a chance to maybe forage or buy those additional ingredients here, I highly, highly uh, recommend to you because those are our medicinal mushrooms. Uh, we have chaga and shiitake mushrooms. They are both dry. So those mushrooms are one, one of the um, really strongest immune support uh, boosters. They can uh, boost our um, white blood cells to help uh, fight anything that is happening in our body. They can help prevent and also there are studies shown that they can also help fight uh, cancer cells. And last but not least is burdock root. Burdock root would be very easy probably for most of us living in North America or Europe uh, to forage. Um, it's just whenever we forage please make sure that you um, do it in a, in a clean area, far from roads, uh, far from any um, factories and uh, make sure that you are being mindful that you take only as much as you need. And burdock root uh, very popular in Chinese medicine. It also widely used in um, by herbalists. It helps to uh, balance our hormones. It helps to boost our immune system. It protects liver and helps to reduce uh, inflammation. It's really, really wonderful. So those are all ingredients that we put in our broth. I know it's, it seems like a lot, but really those are those are uh, um, things that I highly recommend for everybody to try to get into their cupboard and now we are just going to add about a half a cup of soy sauce one can of coconut milk coconut milk will add smoothness riches to the to the broth and also because of the fat all the fat soluble, soluble vitamins a d e and k Will, uh, will be able to absorb. And now all we have to do, just add water. And now very important, it's not only what goes into the pot, but also how we will cook it. So we will bring it to boil, and as soon as it comes to boil, I'm going to lower to simmer, cover the pot, and simmer for four up to 12 hours. Four is the minimum for all the beautiful nutrients and all the medicines uh, to be infused into this broth. And the longer we will cook it, the more of it will have a chance to get into our broth and the broth will be even more beneficial. It will become really this uh, medicinal healing elixir. So our broth was uh, slowly simmering for about oh, about eight hours and now it's time to strain it. So I got myself another pot and my sifter here and I really like to take my time when I do that because 
I want to squeeze as much of this liquid as possible. So I do it in a little in little parts. And I also try to pick as I go to pick all my seaweeds and my shiitake mushrooms because I will be using this either for snacking or um, adding this to some other other dishes and everything else usually goes to to compost and I would squeeze it this way every every little bit of of the juice it's nicely squished look at this color it's just so rich so wonderful and here is our pot of gold this beautiful medicinal uh, healing broth so what what i usually do now i would taste it and see if i like it and you may find that <clears throat> maybe you need a little more spice so please add a little cayenne pepper or you need let's say it's not salty enough so what i would like to suggest to you what i usually do if you have a, a white miso paste instead of adding salt to add a little bit of miso paste however the reason why we didn't add it before because it's um it's it's fermented uh paste so it has the wonderful microorganisms that are good for our health for our um gut uh and they would simply die in very high uh, temperature so what i'm going to do i'm going just to pour cup for myself a little smidge of cayenne pepper I like a little spicier and I'm adding this to my cup because not everyone um, likes the same um, level of, of spice and just a little bit of miso because I want I want it to be a little salty so I'm adding this right before drinking when it's good drinking temperature you got, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and you uh, got inspired to make your own healing broth and uh, add it to your self care uh, uh, routine and um, as always I thank you so much for being here and I'm looking forward to see you next time